of Brazil has recommended or invited the United Nations to go back to Rio de Janeiro in 2012 uh, to organize uh, the 20 years since their summit. What would, would you like to see happen in Rio 2012? Well, the first thing is that by 2012, we should not only be talking about what we're going to do in the future, we should be celebrating what we have already done. And we should, uh, uh, because this, these problems like climate change and environmental degradation, they are becoming more and more acute and worse. So that if we don't have real progress by 2012, then our, the dangers to our human future will be greater than ever. So we cannot wait for 2012 and that it is going to solve everything. These conferences always help, but they are simply steps in a continuing process. Stockholm was the first big step in the globalization of the environment movement. And of course, Rio, and the Brooklyn Commission, and then Johannesburg, and now 2012. But none of these solve the problem just with one conference. Each one of them moves the process ahead and helps to uh, create new energy and new momentum towards achieving sustainability. By 2012, we must be well along on the road to a sustainable future, or the chances of that will become very much less. There are numerous actors in society, governments, private sector, and uh, NGOs. How do you see the, these partnerships among different groups of society that should take place? Well, that's true. It's all sections of society. People act as individuals, and they also act collectively as parts of groups. Some of them are business people, some of them are government people, some of them are, are with civil society organizations. There is not a question of a big uh, boundary between these. These are part of the same society. They just have different ways of expressing their interests and different instruments, different organizations for which to do that. For instance, in my own life, I have, I have tried to work on the same objectives as a government person, as an international civil service with, servant with the United Nations, uh, as an NGO with the Earth Council, the uh, IUCN, etc. Uh, so basically, people can work in several ways through several different uh, uh, methods. And each of these methods is important, but none of them stand alone. They all have to be part of a, of a whole approach of society to remaking the conditions that will ensure the sustainability, not only of individual futures, but of life on Earth. Mm -hmm. Now, if, would you envision something to happen in 2012 regarding the Earth Charter, that the governments would finally embrace it, uh, or the private sector? Would you like to, to to envision something like this to happen in 2010 with regards to the Earth Charter? I hope it will happen before 2012. It is already happening, but obviously it, it has to happen faster and more broadly. By 2012, I hope that it, people will not only be accepting the Earth Charter, but they will be acting in accordance with the Earth Charter. Uh, and that 2012 will become more uh, probable of success because of the Earth Charter. But 2012 is not just about the Earth Charter. It's the Earth Charter that will help to make uh, 2012 a success. So it is a very important motivating factor 